Hey Aquarius, what's up? We're here with a timeless reading. I'm using a new deck. It was gifted to me by a very kind friend of mine. The deck is called The Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. In case anybody's curious. All right. First card we have out is the Six of Wands. I feel like there are a couple things happening right now that you could be experiencing and be like, if this happened, why am I feeling like this about it? Or like, I expected to feel like this after I did that. Six of Wands. I love the images on these cards. Six of Wands is when we accomplish something and it's when we go through something that was feeling difficult, like a battle of some sort or just something that we felt like was challenging where it's like, am I gonna come out on the other side of this? Is this gonna work? Um, like, am I gonna be able to make it through? And then you end up making it through. So it's that moment of, look at the pure joy on this person's face of being like just happy, giddy even about something. So it can feel like a moment of like winning or victory, just something that feels, it's that you cross the finish line and you feel so good. So that's like really the embodiment of this energy. Almost like nothing could bring you down. But then I'm seeing the Four of Cups. So it's like, if this has happened, and this could have even been like how you thought you would feel when you come out on the other side of something, or like maybe you really did come out on the other side of it, but then having Four of Cups, it's like nobody would expect a person to feel like that, and that's why I'm saying you may be thrown off by the way that you feel. You could look at yourself accomplishing something and be like, why am I feeling like this about it though? And Four of Cups is usually, I'm hearing dysregulated. Four of Cups is when we feel like unenthusiastic, almost like we lose our, our passion or our drive. We can feel a little bit blue. We can just feel disconnected from something. So you go from this moment of even feeling like giddy over like a celebration of some sort. And then maybe that's even how you look on the outside of something here or like how you're trying to carry on. But I do feel like this is genuine. Like this six of wands feels it does feel like something is meant to be recognized, that it was important, that you did something here, that this is like a big deal. But you may be like, but I'm not feeling it right now. So you can also be knowing those two things as well. You could be like, yes, I did something and I'm like happy for myself about that. And I feel like I've accomplished something that feels very important. And also, I'm feeling like this too. Like I'm feeling a bit disconnected. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I sort of feel like I need to unplug. Cause this four of cups and it came out in the last reading too. It kind of feels like hiding away from something. So it can be like, I need to, I needed to go out there and do that thing and I needed to show up for it. And now I sort of want to go back I want to retreat back again. And I'm seeing Four of Swords, so this is your guides being like, it's time for you to rest. So I get, um, just like energetically speaking, what I'm getting from this is that you showed up and you did a really great job and that's being recognized and it's something to be very like happy about if you choose to be happy about it. But it's something where I'm seeing there be like, your guide's really proud of you for the way that you showed up, like you did it, you did a really great job, like that sort of thing. Four of Cups can be you being like, well, it didn't matter that much to me or something like that where you're just like, maybe you're a little bit burnt out, maybe you're tired. And then having the Four of Swords here, it's like, it's time for a nap. You see the couch on here? It's time to rest, it's time to relax now. And you're probably not gonna be feeling like that anymore, but if you've been, if you've been expending a lot of energy and maybe this did take a lot of energy that you were expending for that, maybe you're like, I don't feel like I have any emotion left to give now. I feel like I gave it all to that thing and I did it and now I'm just feeling a little bit like a dip in the energy. I need to stabilize again. So up and down. 
but this doesn't feel like the lowest low. It just feels like I feel like I'm coming down now from this. And I, I feel like I need to unwind now. But yeah, congratulations on whatever the Six of Wands was for you. Because it, it really looks like something to be proud of the way that you showed up. Get the vibe of feeling like locked down into something. This card represents the devil. And you see how this person is locked up in there? Could be feeling caged in. Maybe that's what you're taking a break from. I don't know if it's just because I'm using new cards and they're really standing out to me, but the last reading that I did, in case you guys are curious, it was a collective reading that I did and it was about um, a big decision coming up. So if you're curious, because I'm definitely seeing like a little bit of overlap here for those of you that are resonating with what I'm about to point out, Four of Cups came out in that last spread, and in in the spread that I did in the reading before, it kind of felt like a hiding away from doing something. Like it was it was kind of like the person's time to go on stage and go up and and like show up and do something and get something done, and they were feeling like I don't know if I want to go out there and do that thing. And like having it here, it feels like somebody did show up and do what they needed to do, but now they're feeling like. I need to like reconnect again. I'm feeling kind of drained. I need to get my energy back up by maybe not doing anything right now. And just, I'm seeing it be, there's, you already did the action. Now there's no call for action. But I'm, I'm curious to see like how the devil card is going to play out. And then I'm also seeing four of wands, which was, which also came up in the last spread as well. And I am seeing the Knight of Pentacles, too. This Four of Wands has these little stars on it, and it reminds me, I'm seeing the image of like a necklace or a bracelet that it has like a more thin chain on it and it has these almost like 3D looking stars. I don't know if this is something I've seen before or if it's just coming through imagery wise. Do you guys see what I'm talking about here with this? It's like I've seen, I feel like I've seen bracelets or necklaces like that where it's kind of like the string and then the 3D stars or something that looks like that on it. Where they're not flat. They're kind of, yeah, like three-dimensional shapes. Oh, um, seeing Four of Wands and seeing Knight of Pentacles is like when I stabilize, I can then go and do something. So you may feel like you need to stabilize in order to then like go out and interact or to bring something up or to say something or to make an offer or an appeal or just like give something that needs to be given. Offer something that needs to be offered. Participate in something that you need to participate in. But having the devil and having the four of wands come out next to one another especially with this devil card, it does feel like something that you may feel caged in by or trapped by. And like the devil is connected with the energy of Capricorn and Capricorn can be 
like expectations that we put on ourselves or expectations even that like society puts on us too and so we can feel something like the heavy presence of something in 3d that's keeping us locked into something four of wands that maybe we don't want to be locked into or maybe it's not even whatever the thing is of the four of wands that you don't want to be locked into but maybe the expectations that you have of yourself within that or that others have of yourself within that it's like, I do want to be part of this, but maybe I don't want all of that pressure on me. So it can be those sorts of things. Or like, I have my own idea of what this looks like when I do that. And I'm also seeing the Three of Swords here too. So having the Four of Swords, I think we're going to put it above. Having Four of Swords above Three of Swords is needing to... It, there's a focus on healing and being still. Yeah, let's put this over here. Mm. You know, this Knight of Pentacles, the leaves on this card, it's really reminding me of a chameleon. And maybe there's something about that that's important here. Like just looking at this, it really is reminding me of a chameleon. So maybe you felt like there was something that you did to sort of like go along with something else. Or that you were even like shape-shifting into something. But but I don't get it in a way, I get it more in a way of like maybe trying to be easy or like not trying to like make a problem or be chaotic. Like to have four of wands, it can be like, you're a part of this now and so show up like this or show up like that. Like my, the composition, the color on the screen right now. Um, but yeah, four of wands, it can be like, well, I'm working this job now, so now I have to show up like this, you know? And you like chameleon into whatever that is, or like, I'm, I'm with this person now and they expect me to show up like that, or like my mom thinks that I should act like this when I'm doing, like playing this role or whatever, you know? So it can be something like that, like you trying to be easy with something here, but then I'm seeing it lead to the three of swords. And so it can be like, somebody or you forcing yourself into something or like trying to take a shape that maybe maybe that's like not your shape you know and i'm seeing this be I'm not seeing this be a consciously like I'm now I'm fitting into this box that I don't fit into. I'm seeing it more be like, like, is this how I compromise? Like, is this how I collaborate? Like, am I meant to bend here? Like that sort of thing. But I feel like maybe you bent so much that that you broke in this situation or it can feel like that. Not that not that we're labeling you as broken in any way, but it could have been something where it was like, I'm, I'm realizing that I don't bend in that way. And now something has to be healed because of that. Like that's, that's just intuitively what I'm feeling off of this. Like you could have even felt like chameleoning. You could have even felt like you lost yourself to something and then got hurt because of that, like felt hurt because of that felt some sort of pain because of that or could have created pain within a situation. And then I'm also seeing five of wands here too. So it's about it's about sort of like trying to figure that out now. Like how do we work that out now? And I I just get the vibe of there being some sort of difficulty here. And I'm also seeing too I'm also seeing too there like the devil being involved in this. And so that can mean as well that like because of somebody's like even subconscious attachments to of like this thing is going to be the answer for me, right? Because like that's what the devil is. It's like we're trying to balance ourselves back out or we're trying to like reach the light in some way but we're going about it in a distorted way and so we're not actually going to accomplish that because we're looking for like a material solution to an energetic issue okay 
and then having five of wands it's and the devil above it it's sort of like working this thing out of like yes i have this attachment i'm understanding where this is coming from or i'm becoming more aware of this in the first place but that doesn't make it any easier it's like it's like knowing that you shouldn't eat the chocolate cake but then being but i'm still feeling that craving for it you know so it's about like actually doing that working out thing where you're sort of trying to get yourself out of the cage that you put yourself in or that you found yourself in, however, semantics, however you wanna say you got there. And like this five of wands has, has symbols of transformation and so it feels to like that painful, I am now sort of like taking back up my space again, where before I wasn't. And now, cause I feel too like with the devil it, and this whole sort of theme of bending to something or taking shape to something, and like making ourselves smaller, making ourselves fit into something and then feeling trapped here and now it's about like expanding back out again to like your normal shape, you know, energetically. And so it's like that it hurt to shrink and it also like hurts to expand as well. So I'm seeing that sort of what's happening here too. There's like you taking space up again where you hadn't been before, but you knew that by not taking up space before, that's really like where the damage occurred. So I, I'm seeing that as being like sort of the basis for this, regardless of what else ever happened afterward or like how it manifested particularly for you. It looks like the genesis of this was trying to like shrink yourself down to fit into something that you felt very like even limited by. And like you had your reasons too for doing this. Like again, I'm not seeing it be like, you knowingly being like, again, now I'm gonna fit into this box that I don't fit into. It was just something that happened based off of your conditioning. And now you're doing like the undoing of that, but it's also, it's still painful to do that too. So that's what I'm feeling because there's, there's a change now that's happening again. Like you're changing from what you were before to now what you're turning into. And that can feel very uncomfortable and that like five of wands can also be like it being a challenge for you, but you can also be challenged by others too that have something to say about this. And then you can be like, that's why I shrunk in the first place. Like that, that was one of the things that made me feel like I needed to chameleon into whatever that was. And it can be, it can like just an example can be like, in order to get like love from my parents when I was younger, I, I couldn't do this and I needed to show up like that. And so I learned to behave like this even though it didn't feel authentic to me because that's how I got love. And so when I enter into my relationships now, I behave like this, the way I try to intuit how they expect me to behave even though I feel like I'm shutting down a part of myself because that's how I thought I was gonna get this love that I feel like I need. So again, like the devil, the thing that we feel like we need outside of ourselves and what we're doing to try to get that. And then this whole like undoing again of the programming. Even though you may not be feeling like it now, I, I feel like this is a really big deal and that you're doing a really great job and that that's being recognized too, even though I'm getting like emotionally, you may not be, that may not be f what you're feeling like necessarily present to currently. It's like how when somebody finishes a race, um, they like want to lay down for a second, you know, or catch their breath or drink water or do whatever it is that they need to do in order to recover. 
so they're not gonna immediately want to go like running again necessarily you know like they need that space so i'm just getting you be at that sort of thing where it's like you cross the finish line over here and now you're in this like recovery period that's happening and it feels pretty heavy duty Ace of Swords, here it is. Wow, what a conclusion. Um, something, something else that is coming up for me, I was watching this video yesterday by this astrologer that I really like, and she was discussing Mercury retrograde. This ties into the reading, it's not like a random, random sharing that I'm doing here. Um, she was talking about with Mercury retrograde, um, she was also talking about like the sign of Capricorn and stuff like that and how Mercury going retrograde in Capricorn. She was talking about how themes of Capricorn can be about um, like the roles that we play clearly like Capricorn 10th house. It's like what we expect of ourselves and having the devil be here. So Capricorn is the only car the only major arcana that I'm seeing here. I, I feel like this all ties together. So what she was speaking about, um, what she was speaking about when I watched the video was about how in themes of Capricorn, like with Mercury retrograde, it's kind of like us backtracking. So Mercury is retracing its steps. And this has to do all with like mental stuff that's going on for us. And so it can be about how we expect certain things of ourselves and we have certain ways that we prefer to show up and it seems like maybe there was something that got convoluted that happened because like with the with the energy of capricorn and having it be in retrograde which means usually there's a redoing of something of like i don't like how i did it there i need to scratch that out and do it over again like that sort of thing, or I forgot to do that thing, or I could have done that better. And Capricorn is about like self and self identity and like how we're showing up and sort of how we're performing as well. Because that's like, you think 10th house, you think the top of our chart, what we're growing into, what they expect of us, what we expect of ourselves. And like, are we actually meeting that expectation that we have of ourselves too? And so there may be something or some way that you see yourself or how you want to show up that either like maybe you didn't meet that mark and you're going back and you may be fixing something or you may be changing the standards and the expectations that you have of yourself and being like scratching your head a little bit like maybe that role was for that person to play but maybe like I don't fit into that and I don't want to like that doesn't feel natural for me that doesn't feel normal for me so it can be something like that so that's why, why I'm feeling that is potentially related for us and you may find that to be relevant like maybe wherever Capricorn falls within your chart or with your Capricorn placements, whatever house Capricorn is ruling for you. That's sort of where this is happening. So it can be like a reimagining, a rethinking of things. And then we end here with the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you're pretty clear here on what's going on. Ace of Swords can be sort of that breakthrough moment or like that aha that we that we have. And then also on the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the Cosmic Seed, which is, this is the only card in here that's not in like a normal tarot deck. And this is about, it's about like the cosmic nature of us. Actually, I'm going to read what this says in here, just for anybody curious. It says, the cosmic seed is representative of you and I. We are infinite cosmic spirits enmeshed in a sacred flesh for a time here on this planet. So it's about that. We're seeds of pure potential here to grow and learn and share magic with each other. So yeah, I, f I feel like this is you, again, like expanding into that when maybe that's not what you were doing before, okay? All right, my friends, we're going to leave the reading here. I'd like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.